Um, now, this is actually, this was written 15 years ago. And um, I think sometimes it does take being in some uh, strange uh, mental state for me to produce stuff. Um, anyway, this happened very quickly. But I was suffering from flu, and it was December 1999. Um, and I was, I was, off my head, I was, I had a temperature of 100 and something, I was really, I was hallucinating, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, and when I came through this and I began to calm down, the temperature began to drop, and I wrote this poem for the millennium. And uh, it's what I call my millennium doggerel. And it's my wish list. And I'll read it to you. And um, I, yeah, okay, a wish list for the millennium, 15 years late, but we're just going to keep wishing, because mm -hmm. we're on the case. All right, mm. shopping malls will be transformed and turned into houses of glass, full of trees and flowers and mosses and long wavy grass. Communities will be regenerated. Mobile shops will cruise the streets. To our doorstep, they'll bring fresh vegetables, fruit, and choice foods we love to eat. And we'll shop over the net, and goods will be transported like never before. Automated subterranean tube lines bringing purchases straight to our door. That our energy sources will come from the wind, the sun, and the sea. We'll even use methane from sewage, which comes from you and me. Yeah. <laughs> Fossil fuels and nuclear fission will be a thing of the past. The Earth's atmosphere will be clean. We'll breathe unpolluted air at last. All food will be organically grown, chemical farming no longer the norm. No more GM interference with our wheat, barley, and corn. The buildings we live in may not be over six stories high. They will be made with curves and colors and roof gardens and plenty of vision of sky. There will be no cars as we know them today. They'll be banned and replaced by free transport to anywhere you want in the land. And two long, fully paid for holidays a year will be allocated by law to all from babies to pensioners, no one will pull a short straw. There will be no more industry fat cats making more than they'll ever need. Legislation will ensure we will all be properly paid, no more exploitation and greed. Media moguls and press barons will cease to influence our mind. We'll be free spirits to make free choices based on the truth we find. Politicians, spin doctors, and pundits will no longer pull our strings. We'll all become free thinkers, changing the order of things. And where on the planet there was once oppression, famine, hunger and war, peace, plenty, and democracy will reign forevermore. All world religions, ha ha, will unite with one joyous fight. No more dogmas, no more fatwas, no witch hunts. We'll be one happy rainbow tribe. Schools will teach children to dream, to make music and dance in the street. Our city is no longer so hostile. We'll bustle with happy people to meet. You will tell me this is just a utopia. So far-fetched, it can never come true. But perhaps with our vision and will, we can make our world anew. So at the dawn of this millennium, what could my resolution possibly be? Instead of using my mobile, I think I'll just use ESP. <laughs> <laughs>